Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to start using Zoho Flow for beginners in 2024. So today we're diving into Zoho Flow, which is a powerful automation platform designed to streamline your business processes and connect your favorite apps seamlessly. Whether you are new to automation or looking to enhance your workflow, Zoho Flow offers intuitive tools to help you automate tasks effortlessly. So join me as we explore how to start using Zoho and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and log into an account if you have one or sign up into a new account if you don't have any account in Zoho. To do so, of course, you'll require a browser. So open whatever you have for me here, I'm using Brave and go to this URL section. Of course, you basically just have to type Zoho flow as example and hit the enter button. Once you do so, you'll find yourself here. Just click on it, which is integrate your app, automate your workflow, and click on that. Here, as you can see, you'll be able to click on sign in at the top right corner to sign in into a new account or to sign in into your account if you have an account. And if you don't have an account, you'll be able from here to start your, as you can see, try Zoho Flow for free and create a new account. You'll be able to start your 15 days free trial. And you can, of course, create an account using LinkedIn or Google if you don't want to, uh, to enter through or to go through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account. If you click here on login, you'll be able to log in as you can see using Google, Apple, Yahoo, Facebook, Twitter, Microsoft, LinkedIn, and as you can see, even GitHub, Slack, a lot of options that you can use. So example here, let's just go and start our free trial. So for me, I'll just go or use Google. I don't have to enter all my informations here. Choose my account right here. And basically, I'll just go and enter your organization name. I'll just name it test time zone. I'll let's test it is and date format. I'll test it is and click on create. And once I do so, I'll find myself on my flows or basically the dashboard of Zuhu flow right away. So as you can see, trial will expire in 14 days. I can upgrade this, of course, to get a plan. So I'll be able to use after 14 days. So if you like it, you'll be able to go and get a plan. Of course, they have the standard plan, professional plan, depending on whatever you want, the features that you want, you can get whatever you want. So here, what you will need is simply familiarize yourself with the interface, first of all and see everything about it. Of course, you can go and explore the gallery. Here, you'll be able to see a lot of things, uh, a lot of templates that already people made, or some automation that's already people that's made, of course, that may help you. Of course, you can use it right away if they publish it. As you can see, you can use any automation of those options if you want to. If you don't, you can create your own. As an example, you can start creating your first flow. Basically, just go and click on create flow. Of course, you can click create folder just to have everything in uh, place if you like of course to stay organized you can create some folders and you can create some flows for specific folders and other flows for specific other folders etc as i said that's if you want to keep yourself organized so for me i'll just go and click on create flow the name i'll just give it a test name home folder as you can see i had i had no folder so they will give me just a home folder which will create of course i can go here create a new, fol new folder if i want to description I'll just type just testing. Of course, not even necessary to enter a description. You can list it empty as an example and click on create right away. Once you click on create, you'll find yourself with this page here. So as you can see, they'll just go through you through a guide with you. So as an example, it will get you to know what's the triggers, what's the actions, and etc. So to understand bits about so as you can see, trigger flow based on the app or schedule. As you can see, so you'll be able to see what's about drag and drop action, logic, uh, custom function, attach, detach action, useful builder tools, tests and debug. So basically, as, as I said, just a small guide which will help you through all of that to understand more about it. Now, it's time to choose your trigger. Basically, you'll be able to create your first flow. Of course, I'm not. I'm just going to show you an example, but for you, that's the step where you should set up, step up and do your own thing because this automated stuff and you should just automate the thing that you want to automate. For example, I don't know, maybe when you receive a new email and Gmail, uh, you should um, send the message on Discord or Slack or something like this. I don't know. So that's, you should automate depending on whatever you feel you like or, or you would need. So for me, as an example, 
I'll just choose the trigger, of course. First of all, like you can configure triggers and actions like of your flow to define trigger events, conditions, subsequence action. You can customize parameters such as the field, filters, and mapping to tailor your automation to specific some use case if you want to. So, for example, you can choose trigger flow, a app, schedule, webhook as an example. So triggers when an event occurs in the app. For example, when new leads is added to a CRM. If you want to schedule triggers as an example at one time or recurring flow based on a preferred a predefined schedule. And you have the web uh, hook triggers, which is triggers when data is received from an app or code through a unique uh, webhook URL. So for me, I'll just choose here an app and click on configure. And here I'll have to look for the app that I want it to be as the trigger. As an example, let's look or I don't know, let's see Facebook. Let's see if there's Facebook even in there. Okay, so as you can see, if you didn't find an app, they will tell you to request an app, especially if you have a plan. If you have the better or the best plan, your app or your app that you requested will get added kind of in 48 hours or something or so something like that. I'm not very sure the exact time, but it will be added as soon as possible. So as an example, I don't know, look for Gmail. They have Gmail. So as you can see, they have Gmail here. They have like, let's see if they have Discord. Okay, they don't have it. So what's about Zuhu Mail? As you can see, MailChimp, as you can see. So they have a lot of things that you can uh, look for. So let's say I'll just scroll here and choose like a random, uh, I don't know, random trigger. Let's say, I don't know what should we choose in here. I don't know what should we choose exactly. So I don't know. Let's just choose this Clango. Why not? Or uh, I don't know. Yeah, let's just choose that. Why not? Just go and click on that. Of course, if you select other thing, it will deselect the first one. Like for example, if you choose Contact Form 7, it's on WordPress. If you're using it as an example, you'll be able to uh, use a lot of things. So Equid Store, if you receive something on Equid Store, let's say we are going to do that. So on Equid Store, as you can see, they have uh, six triggers that is already available. You can request some new triggers. Example, if you have no triggers from here, so as example, if customer created something, if order created or something like that. Let's say example, if we get a new order in a quit store, click on next. Of course, you'll have to click on connect and connect your equid equit store. Just go and give uh, the name, then click on authorize. Example, I'll just type tests here and click on authorize, and here you'll be taken to connect your equit store right away. The same will be for the action that you are going to create. Of course, once you choose your trigger here on this left panel, you'll should you you'll be able to start uh, choosing your actions and uh, action events and etc. And once you choose everything and everything is in mind or is in is in place before deploying it, make sure to test it. Do a small test with the options of Zoho Flow. They will allow you to test everything and then you'll be able to deploy your flow. Of course, once you uh, become more comfortable with Zoho Flow, you can get more advanced and look at some additional automation and capabilities, experience with conditional logic, error handling, scheduling, and data manipulation, and a lot of other stuff that you can teach yourself or just familiarize yourself with it and try it out until you get used to it. Yeah, so that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching. I will catch you in the next video. So goodbye.